Good evening, everyone. Happy Terratober. I hope everyone's having a fantastically spooky evening. We are on stream number three of Terratober. And it's Wednesday, so that means we are hopping back into At Dead of Night. So, uh, if you guys remember from last Saturday, I'm stuck in a hotel with a crazy dude with a bat, and he keeps beating me over the head and throwing me in room 107 specifically for some reason. I'm not sure why that room in particular. He's not really putting a lot of effort into stopping me, I guess, because I just keep getting out, but I gotta rescue my friends. I gotta get out of here. Crazy dude. No hair. Bald. Crazy. Just hard, hard to deal with. Hey, loser corner. Oh, you're sick? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully I can keep you at least half entertained with uh, my shenaniganry of running from a Jimmy for the next, like, hour and 45 minutes. So, I figure let's just hop back into it. And we're going to return to the Sea View Hotel. Alright, so... I am back on the ground floor because I needed a breather. However, at the same time, I feel like I want to... I want to... Is there a dark room down here? So I can use my scrying orb? Uh, that orb. Mirror. See, I feel like this is dark enough. I feel like I should be able to use my mirror. Well, if it's too dark ahead, that's a perfect place to use my mirror, which apparently I can only do in the dark. She better be breathing this hard because she's scared and not because she's out of breath, because Jesus. I think I had to go to the first floor. I think the first floor is where I was trying to go. But we'll, we'll see now, anyway. Because I obviously have a very, uh... Seeing suspicion that uh, Jimmy knows I'm here. Oh, follow the ghost. All right, there's like a... Uh, 117? See, it's really hard to understand where that thing is pointing. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Is anyone there? No, there's nobody here. This is the wrong room. Well, better look through here just in case now. See, I actually haven't seen him through this spyglass yet. You know, I call it a peephole. I don't know, maybe it's a British thing to call it a spyglass, but... No, it's definitely pointing kind of that way. Here? But yeah, I haven't actually seen him through that yet, so I don't know what kind of spook that would give me. Is someone there? Nope. God, that compass is such a bitch to try and understand. Where are you trying to lead me? You're clearly pointing at that fucking door. door there, so... This room? Let me try here, and if it doesn't work, I should be able to use the mirror Is here. someone there? Okay, let me see if the mirror tells me. It's a sad little girl. 
That alone is a trouble for games, just there's sad little girls everywhere. Okay, coat of armor, or uh, coat of arms. A suit of armor! <laughs> Looks like a dude with half a face. Not sure what the hell all that is. Yeah, I actually saw that you teased the, uh... I saw that you teased the Mechagodzilla costume. Got what was it? Uh, three more days before we get the full reveal. Now, where is this goddamn thing pointing? And who's crying? God damn. I'm back at the elevator right now, aren't? Well, now he clearly saw me come in here, right? So there's no goddamn way that he doesn't come in here. He definitely saw me come in here. Seriously, I've not been able to find who's making that crying noise. But also, this compass is leading me quite astray. Also, I'm very worried that Jimmy's just hanging out. Because I remember one time I hung out in a room, and then when I came out, he was hiding around a corner, deliberately. So I do worry that that's what's going on here. Because there's no way he didn't see me. <laughs> or know where I went. But I don't hear him coming. God, I really don't think he would have not known I was in here. That actually makes me more nervous to leave. Because at least if he came. Really? That sounded really close, though. Mrs. Can you stop breathing so goddamn loud? He's gonna hear you through the door just because of your breathing. Christ. Am I dead? I'm telling you, Jimmy, you can't do that. You're home. Well, I found the suit of armor. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go in here. You don't see shit. Yeah, okay. Maybe he does see shit, actually. I'm just gonna... Hide the bathroom like a brave boy. Yeah, a few things going on right now. Someone is active. That's not a problem, sir. I appreciate you popping in at all. I know you're a doom guy, so... Taking any time to pop into my horror stream is much, much appreciated. Okay, so he walked by the door. So does that mean I don't have to worry about him trying to come in? But as I was saying earlier, I never actually saw him through this wide glass before. That's the first time I've seen it happen.
Okay, I think he's far enough away that I can probably use this safely. Is it Amy? Okay, I'm in contact with Amy. I saw you outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? Was That's very vague. That was extremely vague, actually. So... That was the only time she was outside of a room scared, huh? I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy made it. I don't know why. He was strange. <laughs> he, he was just strange making scrapbooks. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? We know who that was. Why are you asking questions you already know the answer to? I might have asked this already. I guess I did. When you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? She didn't say anything about the scrapbook. It's a terrible question. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? I'm just getting static now, that's great. That music is awfully ominous. Okay. Does Amy want to talk again? Is it Amy? Yeah, I'm Amy. Cool. Can you tell me about the heater this time? Why? Oh, I'm sure you asked about that. Okay. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I don't know. Didn't even have a little backup thing about that, just no. No. So I'm guessing I didn't find something yet? Um, what are the drawings? When you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? Okay, I have a feeling I missed something. Uh, yes, uh, Loser Corner. I actually finished Squid Game, game last night. I almost said Squid Gang. I have it. <laughs> yeah, no, I finished it uh, last night. Do I gotta go back to the second floor? Did I miss something up there? Because I'm fairly certain. I got everything. I'm fairly certain I got everything on the first floor. Have you watched the whole show yet, Lizard Corner? Or 
or are you only partial part of the way in? You finished on Monday? It's a really good show. I mean, like, I don't... I Like I said on Twitter, I don't watch a lot of TV. I want to look at the fucking dresser. I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. I thought I had that key. I don't watch a lot of TV anymore because of time constraints. But, I like, I, 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 like, everybody had heard so much about this Squid Game show through the internet. And it seemed to be everywhere. It was on Reddit. It was in on Facebook memes. I literally saw it all over the place. So I felt like, God, I gotta. I have to watch it. Like, so many people have talked about it. And I had just finished up watching a uh, documentary series that I was watching about making movies. So I felt like this is a perfect time. I'm looking for a show to watch on the, you know during the limited times that I have to watch TV. So let me try watching Squid Game. And I like a little bit of... Right. Why did I do that? And I like a little bit of, uh... Violence in my... In my TV and movies. I'm a gore fiend of some... Of, of sorts. See, I don't know if I didn't find that, or he had just... Well, I must have. Because I found that. So the, I was, that was just one of the keys I lost when he mugged me. Okay, I don't want to go in a storeroom then. He's always getting me when I'm in storerooms. Nope. Um, but, like, after I watched the, the first couple of episodes, so if I see him through this, it doesn't let me return? So does that mean I don't have to worry about him coming in? Ooh, he's walking outside. So, I watched the first few episodes, but I got so hooked... That I every spare like few minutes I had, I had to watch some of the show. You know, you know I'm I doing some laundry, have it in one hand, throwing laundry in the in the machine with the other hand, right? Um, you know I'm trying to cook, maybe got one hand here, one hand stirring the pot. You know all that. I was just like I have to continue watching the show. So into it. And it's a, been a long, long, long time since I found a show that I wanted to binge as hard as that. So, I'm really glad I found it. I'm really glad I watched it. I'm glad that it was only nine episodes, because if it was, like, longer than that, I feel like I would have eventually burned myself out on it by trying to watch so much. But it also meant that there wasn't a lot of, like, convoluted stories or side stories to try and fill time. Okay, then. He waited an awful long time for me to come out of that room. And even though he knows full well I came in here, he's not going to check the bathroom. Even though he's standing right in front of me, so there's no way he didn't see me. He's just so scared of bathrooms, man. His parents were killed by explosive diarrhea. Just blew them apart. He, he He's too scared. He can't come in here. Okay, so maybe it's safe to actually go out now. You didn't cry three times. <laughs> um, I didn't cry. Which actually kind of surprises me a little bit. Um, 
in of the sense of I have become much more of an emotional person since my daughter was born. So I find myself tearing up a hell of a lot easier than I than I used to. Just take a peek. Nope. Uh so I'm actually kind of surprised that I held it together watching the last couple episodes of the show. But it was fantastic. I'm, I was really glad I took the took the time to watch it. Good evening, Jay. How are you today? Bathrooms are, in fact, terrifying. You ever had explosive diarrhea? It's not fun. I've never lost my uh, a loved one to it like this guy apparently has, but, you know. I take it you'll be watching some AEW tonight. Now, the only problem with right here... Is I'm technically cornered if I'm in there. Uh, nothing here. Brian Danielson is over? Why is he over? And he was clearly right behind me, so I'm just taking shelter just in case. Yeah, there's his footsteps. So he's nearby. Did he get cancelled? Is he injured? What happened? Jimmy, come on, I need to finish exploring the, your goddamn hotel. Oh, well, okay. I know that it made it popular, but I thought that went without saying. It's Brian Danielson. So, I, that, I was like, well, obviously he's popular. It's hard to read sarcasm through uh, text if that's what you were trying to go for there. Are that footsteps I heard? Is that just a little low thump in the music? Hidden here. My, don't listen to him. Right, this is where the uh, scary heater was. Well, that that sounded like it was far enough away that I think I'm safe to leave. Okay, let's try right here. So I'm pretty sure I remember this room. So unless I was dumb and didn't click on all the uh, all the doors, I'm pretty sure I found everything here. And I'm pretty sure I picked that up. So I think it was something he stole from one of the times he whacked me over the head. Now, all the other animations in the keyhole have just been him walking by, so what happens if I see him through here? Because he can't walk by, that door doesn't go anywhere. Or at least, when I click on it, it doesn't go anywhere. Well, I, I, I guess it's possible that maybe he uh, has a key for it.
How's the concussion syndrome? Oh, it's going okay. I found the little girl again, but I'm guessing I didn't have the thing I needed to ask her questions. I guess I could go explore the third floor. Oh, you thought you had me. But you didn't, Jimmy. Ooh, this room, this floor is a bit darker and spooky. Yeah, the decor is very similar to floor one, but definitely more spooky. Well, uh, I guess I'm just leaving this room. It's pitch fucking black in here. Oh, a nice little cubby area. Oh, man. The guy just compasses and mirrors all over the fucking place. I found a ring in its box. Take that! That could be fucking valuable! Considering the fact I'm in a cubby hole, I probably should have checked the, uh, checked the, uh, peephole to make sure he wasn't coming. Because if I leave, there's nowhere else to run but back in here. Yay, mirror. Okay, yeah, no, nothing here. Hello? How fast can Jimmy take the... Oh, no, I meant to leave. How fast can Jimmy take the stairs, you think? There's not a lot of rooms on this floor, then. Why is it so fucking loud up here? Okay, so the answer to my question is, doesn't take very long to take the stairs at all. Which makes sense. The stairs are right next to the fucking elevator. Hello, Jimmy. Please don't murder my face. I don't want to go back to room 107. I don't want to lose my keys. And I don't want to lose my box, because you keep making me go back for the spirit box so many goddamn times. And yet, you never hide it anywhere different. So you're constantly acting like I wouldn't be able to find it again. When I clearly would be able to. Great. Well, Jay, the concussion syndrome is going very well. I am severely concussed now. I've been hit over the head by Jimmy several times. I keep being worried about people in, in athletics getting concussions, but Jesus Christ, I'm getting wrecked over here. They take my box. Oh, yeah, fucker, he took the box again. Yep, we're back in room 107. As per usual. I need to fucking memorize these floors better. Give 
reaction button. It's not death for sure. I'm just not going to be able to talk right for a while. My problem now is, how the hell was I supposed to know he was there? Because I even waited for, like, some sort of... I waited for some sort of signal. Like a spooky music or one of those doo 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 sounds. To tell me that he was there. Because I didn't just rush. I sat there and waited. And nothing happened. So how long would I have been expected to wait? really not a lot up on this floor. And the wind is really fucking loud. Okay, that's 302. So I think the only thing I found on this floor was a ring. You know, and wouldn't it solve Jimmy's problem a lot if he just stood in the elevator and waited for me? way. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the fucking long way around here. Dead end. Went the wrong way. Because I don't trust this fucking compass anymore. Okay, so this... Is where I found the little girl before. Okay, are you there? Hello? Hello? Hi, hi, Amy. Is it Amy? Yes, it's me. Alright. Who we did the wedding ring belong to? I don't know. That's not fucking helpful. So she didn't know about this, she didn't know about that. She didn't have an answer. Was it the sword that you saw? Is that why he was scaring you? When you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? Oh, so I did have what I needed the whole time. <laughs> okay. Did, did he fork her fucking booze? Hello? I can make your hand stop hurting. Here, <laughs> drink this booze. You won't feel a goddamn thing after I'm done. Okay, so I guess I'm still on the correct floor. Let's 
Let's just go in here and wait. Back to my room again. Jesus. I spend more time in the, the bathrooms in this game than I do in bathroom in real life. Now I'm a dad. I spend most of my day in the bathroom. <laughs> it's the only place where I'm safe. But then my daughter learned how to open doors. And I was not that safe anymore. There's nowhere to escape. Pretty sure I just heard him get closer, so... We're just gonna hang out in this uh, bathroom. And not, not go anywhere. Why is the movie, like the camera shake so much? Does it... Why does the camera shake so much? Does anybody stand like still in the bathroom and then like, or like stand still and like, but they're doing this? <laughs> this is not how people stand. I, I so feel that the moment I walk out of this room, I'm going to get smacked. Try 117, maybe? Oh, Jesus, dark in here. I don't feel this is where I need to be. Is someone there? Yeah, the ghosts don't seem to show up in dark rooms. Which is the complete opposite of what all these ghost hunting shows tell me. They only look for ghosts in the pitch black. But in this game, they only show up in bright rooms. Of course, when she shuts the door, she's so fucking loud. Ghosts know the dark is scary. <laughs> And you know, some of these ghosts probably were scared of dark in life. So they'd be scared of the dark in here too. Especially if these people don't know that they're ghosts. It's hard, actually, it's hard to tell if they know that they're ghosts or not. It hasn't actually made it clear yet if these people know that they're... That they're ghosts. They haven't, they haven't straight up said that yet. You don't know shit. I think he's far enough away that I can safely go somewhere else. In here? 
compass kind of looked like it was pointing in here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, she's, no, she's choking! This game looks too real? That's actually part of the appeal of this game, uh, Queen Willow. It won't let me back out when he does that. <laughs> the, uh, the appeal of this game, and actually what they were going for, I'm just gonna hide in the bathroom while I wait. Is, uh, they put real actors and actually use a lot of, like, r real props for the, the graphics of the game. Like, when I go out in the hallway, you'll see that the, the hallway is clearly, like, 3D rendered, but they, they try to immerse you by using as much real stuff as they possibly could. So as you just saw, like, that little girl was an actual actress that they just straight up put into the game. You would not play? Uh, I don't blame you. There are people who would not be able to play this. It's got some major spooks. I got every time like one of these ghosts shows up in one of these rooms, they startle the shit out of me because I'm not expecting. Okay, I think he's far enough away that I can now talk to the ghost. Let's talk to the ghost. Amy. Is it Amy? Amy. I saw you drinking something. You didn't seem to like it. It was booze, was right? It? He gave you booze? That's what we told me. It was medicine. It was booze. That was 100% booze. Did I find any booze? Turpentine. Oh, actually, yes. Whiskey bottles! Were they whiskey bottles? No problem, Queen Will. Thanks for stopping by. You go ahead and lurk. When you said the medicine tasted horrible, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Maybe. She told me to keep drinking it. It was horrible. But then I started to feel strange. I mean, like, it wasn't completely wrong. It definitely would have helped ease the pain. What the hell is that? Stairs? Looks like staircase. Sorry, am I going to the staircase? Hello? I want to know. Can I... Why can't I use the mirror in here? Like, they said, like, it needs to be in the dark. But, like, are, are, like is, is a bathroom in this hotel, like, some sort of alternate dimension? Jimmy can't come in here. I can't look at the mirror. Actually, I can't look at anything. I can't talk to ghosts. The bathroom is just a sacred place in this game. But it looks like it wanted me to go to the stairs. I'm definitely not going the right way to the stairs. God, this first floor is much bigger. Well, I'm glad he was far enough away. Like, I stopped talking because I was like, that fucker is right there now. Because that door did not open. It's okay, Jimmy. I'm in the bathroom. You don't need to disturb me. The bathroom is a sacred and holy place in this hotel.
How dare you, sir? I thought we had an understanding. And he stole the fucking box again! And the worst part is, he probably hid in the same fucking spot. Asshole. Can't change the mechanics of the game now. Oh, well, I guess that's where I need to go. But I can't talk to you. I don't have my box. Fuck. This first floor is literally too fucking big. I get turned around so much. Hello, ghost and spirit voice receiver that I definitely have picked up only once before. Oh, hi! Interestingly, that one didn't startle me as much. No idea why. I guess I should talk to him. Is it Dr. Bose? Well, I, better, I guess I better talk to you about the dead animal. I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy was killing things. Small birds, animals. I realized he needed to work with his empathy skills. So I asked him to think of something nice he could do for me. I was surprised. He came up with an idea right away. And now you're dead, so I guess it didn't actually go very well. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I wasn't there then, but I think she drank alcohol. See, here's the thing. If I already know the answer to it, it's kind of interesting that I can ask other people about it. That's not the weird part. The weird part is I asked, like, what is it when I already know the answer, not, hey, did you know that Amy drank alcohol? Who did the wedding ring belong to? Did he put it on for you like he was going to make you a meal? Is that when what happened? When you said here? Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Yes. Jimmy said he Oh, man, something. I nailed that. So I followed him to see what he was going to do. And then you died. <laughs> And then you died. And he's gonna be right outside this fucking room now. No, I'm actually kind of surprised. Well, I'll gladly go to the ground floor. It's safe down there. Jimmy doesn't know how to hide on the ground floor, apparently. He also apparently doesn't know how to lock me in the room, but... Hey, not sure. Welcome back to At Dead of Night. I've only been knocked out twice while... <laughs> the, the, during this playthrough. Okay, I hear the dishes. But he broke the rules. He broke the rules. He came in after me when I was hiding in the bathroom. What a bastard. We had an understanding. Bathrooms are sacred. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? 
This is a great idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Oh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? And now he's dead, like I said. So, you just got, you got poisoned or stabbed or something. You got fucked here, doctor. But I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Let's try and talk to the ghost. Is it Dr. Bose? Is it Dr. Bose? Why is it vaguely heard? Is it Dr. Bose? Can I go further in or do I have to go outside the room? Is right here fine? Is it Dr. Bose? God, how dare I try to talk in the in the actual kitchen? I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. Yeah. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? It was my first encounter with Jimmy's sense of humor. Is that a hammer? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, I gotta go up to two different floors, do I? So what is the whole situation now? Well, the situation now is I am just basically trying to talk to ghosts to get the story on Jimmy. Uh, and it's kind of all over the place. I went to... I saw the doctor, and he's like, Jimmy's fucked up, bro. And then I found Amy, who was really scared. The little girl was really scared of something Jimmy said. Found out that he had threatened her with a sword not to talk to the doctor... Uh, and that he could make her hand stop hurting. To do that, he got her hammered on whiskey bottles. <laughs> as one does to stop the pain. And then he... And then we found the doctor in a storeroom. The ghost was showing that he had found a dead rabbit. And Jimmy was killing things. So he said, Upon finding this child had killed an animal, I realized he had to work on his empathy skills. Fucking med school, guys. And, uh, so, <laughs> he told Jimmy, he told Jimmy, hey, you want to, you want to make, you do something nice for someone, and he's going to make him a sandwich, and given that the doctor is dead, I want to go ahead and guess that the sandwich didn't work out very well. These are really nice assets you're making, man. Like, are these super quick to make in Unity? Like, is Unity just that robust? What did I just click on? I was clicking back to the game. I don't know what I clicked on. Am I on the first floor? I think I'm on the first floor. Oh, I'm definitely going to the bathroom. I'm sorry, am I supposed to just talk to, to the ghost right fucking here? You're important Unreal, but I'm modeling my texture and substance rendering on Jesus. <laughs> Is it Dr. Bose? That's a lot of steps. Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. What, uh, what happened there? I saw you spitting out blood. What happened? 
Oh, shit. Really? My camera and audio aren't synced? Really? My camera and audio. Synced on my Twitch. Not sure why it's not synced on yours. Just try refreshing, see if that fixes it. Broken glass. Mm. Oh, it was you. <laughs> uh, do I have anything? Is it, uh, did it have anything to do with a broken heater? No. Okay. When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? You do know. You're the one who talked to me about the goddamn rolling pin. You should know if that's what you use the used for the experiments. Uh, okay. So... Try this. And say medicine? When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with what you said about the diazepam? It wasn't the ideal medication, but it was all Awesome, right. got it, nailed it, only took two tries. Floor three also flashed earlier, so let me try going up to floor three. But I mean, like, don't be afraid to bring up those things. Uh, not sure if I is it if it is desync because it could be me. I had trouble with my stuff not being synced before. Oh, what the fuck is this now? Can I talk to her right here? Is it Amy? I feel like there's a must be a key to that somewhere here. But I feel like I checked everything on the floor, so now I don't. I already know I don't. I already have a scrying mirror. You got them all over the goddamn place. Apparently, everybody in this fucking hotel was scrying shit. I'm beginning to think people came here on purposely to talk to the goddamn dead, the way that they got fucking compasses and shit all over the place. Look, another compass. I mean, it's either that or all these people really wanted to navigate somewhere. Jimmy, are you gonna kill me? Can I go in there? Oh, right, this was completely pitch dark. I think I heard a... 
was about to say, I think I heard a bang. Let's just chill out for a minute. It's very windy up here, so, I mean, by rights, you shouldn't be able to hear a goddamn thing I'm doing. Because it, it's just so goddamn windy. I feel like I could be throwing glasses around, and he'd still be in the hallway like, Did I hear something? Why is it so loud up here and not the other floors? Like, is there just, like, cracks in the walls and shit? I'm so fucking dead. Well, well, I can't go anywhere in here. It's too dark, and apparently there's no fucking light switches. Or she doesn't know how to use light switches. Well, I'm probably dead. He found me in the bathroom last time. So I wonder why he found me in the bathroom last time. But not this time. So what's the mechanic that I'm not following? Was I moving the mouse around too much and that e equates to my hand? So like he looked in the bathroom and all he saw was someone like doing this. I'm hoping since he left. And that's one of my friends. Stop me trying to use the force. I was using the force too much. If I could use. I said it was a little spook, but I don't know. I guess I was expecting it too much. Cause I <laughs> he will not hear you if you talk in real life. Um, well, like I'm assuming that's not actually a thing in this game, but I do know a game where that was a thing, where it was specifically made for streamers, where if they were trying to hide from an enemy, like. If they spoke in real life and you were, you had the mic turned on in the game, the mic would pick it up and the bad guy would know you were there. Well, like that would have to have been made specifically for streamers, because who else just has their mic turned on in a single player game, right? Okay, he's far enough away now.
broken wall mirrors. Alright. So I'm at that point in the game now where I don't know if his like AI got better. So I'm, I kind of don't want to just barrel out of doorways because he might be there. He actually has radios, that's what it is, is it? So if there's nothing in there, why aren't I able to go in there? Nope. Dear Mom, I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Found a coil of copper wire. Okay. I guess that's what he used to hang the fucking rabbit. I mean, he could have a walkie-talkie. I don't know how much that would help him, though. Unless he's got microphones in all the walls, which... Given how depraved this guy is, I guess that wouldn't surprise me too much. I'm not a naughty girl. Oh, sure. Uh, pictures of... Uh, what's his name? Um, Gacy. Great. That's not terrifying. But I heard him really close, and so now I'm afraid to open this door. I don't think there's anywhere in here to hide. So if he does decide to come in here, I'm pretty fucked. I kind of want to hear him yell out first before I leave here. Okay, he's far enough away. How polite of him to shout out like that, so I know he's not nearby. He made it up. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything, probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be ridiculous. He wouldn't lie about something like that. Who the fuck sure. are you? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Ridiculous. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harley. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. My camera wasn't behind. I checked. Hello? There's someone there. Hello? Man, there's a whole bunch of people dead in this hotel, man. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I, sh I need to ask the name first, my bad. Harvey. I run the place. Alright, uh, run the boy. I don't think you do anymore! <laughs> I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. I feel like there should have been some sort of criminal investigation. Well, I'm beginning to think that too. Like, how many people has this guy killed? And nobody's what noticed. What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry it around with him. No idea why. Because he was hanging bunnies. 
Who wrote the note that says goodbye? We found that out. I don't know. Uh-huh. How did those mirrors get broken? I don't remember that. What do you know? I saw the little girl at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What was she doing? She drank a bottle of whiskey. She didn't know what she was doing. Oh boy. She fall. I saw Dr. Bow spitting out blood. What happened? He learned about Jimmy the hard way. Jimmy's pranks always went too far. Yeah, yeah, well, that's certainly correct. I saw Dr. Bose outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? You just said what he was doing. He was talking to Jimmy. Was trying to educate Jimmy. Get him to help out. Big mistake. I saw Dr. Bose holding a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy said he'd found it somewhere. What he was doing with it is another story. Yeah. Found it somewhere. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. We know what, what was it, it is. Why would you say what is it? Just ask do you know about know. it. Who did the wedding ring belong to? <laughs> it was just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Why are you getting angry? I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. Well, is that where he got his story? Okay, so this and this. You said you when heard... you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had gone. Nailed it. it was Nailed same. it. I'm an investigator. I should be a detective. Well, now that I did all that yakking, Jim Jimmy's probably outside the fucking door. Hello, Jimmy? Jimmy, if I come out, do you promise not to immediately murder me? I'm making good progress here tonight, and I don't need you murdering my face. Pretty sure I just saw him around the corner there. Go down the fucking hall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just saw him around the corner. I'll go back and check the footage later to see if I actually did, or I'm just so fucking paranoid I'm seeing him everywhere now. I could honestly go either way with this. Alright, well, he definitely sounded like he was far away just then. I'm hearing... Now I heard him. We know your real name, Jimmy. It's Jake Paul. Um, I think Jake has more hair than that. So clearly that hallway to here to get into this room is my weakness because I keep trying to click on the actual door, but clicking on the actual door makes me turn around. 
So, if Jimmy had snuck up behind me, he would have just saw me doing circles. And been like, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to go down the hallway! What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> You don't see shit. See, the thing is, I keep hearing the knocking from what I assume is the ghost. And if I'm hearing the knocking from the ghost, I can't tell if that's footsteps from him because it's so faint. God, I feel like I need to hear him yell out again before I go anywhere. No, he's right fucking there. So we're just going to keep staring at this wall for a few minutes here. Okay. Should I be vlogging right now? <laughs> Like, I feel like in this day and age, she would have had a phone. And maybe they could use the excuse, oh, it doesn't have good reception up here. But I feel like she'd be vlogging, leaving evidence behind or something. Can you please leave the area? Like... I'm like certain percent done the story, but I'm also, I, I feel like I'm lacking in the percent done content here. There should be a content meter in the top right of my screen. And I feel like you making me sit in this bathroom so I don't get fucking blasted in the face with a baseball bat is keeping this meter from filling. God damn it, Jimmy. Fuck it, if he kills me, he kills me. God, like, I keep feeling like I'm hearing him. I might legitimately just be going crazy now. I'm so paranoid about running into him, I can literally hear him everywhere. Because I could have swore I heard his footsteps in the hallway. Which might have been the case. Because he might have been, he might have been around the corner. But I'm also pretty sure I heard the doorknob turning. <laughs> I'm scared. I would say I'm a little tense. I'll, I'll say I'm tense. Go, go, go. Fuck it. Well then, Jay, if I die, it's your fault. tried locking him in a room yet? No, can't say I have, actually. But I actually don't know how to lock him in a room, really. Actually, that might be a good point.
one second. I might be able to fix it. I'm 33% complete, though, so that's cool. No, you can lock him in. The tutorial said I could. Loser Corner. It did say that I could lock him in. But I don't understand at what point I'd be able to lock him in. It drives me nuts that it won't let me back up when he does that. Um, like, for example, when he comes into the room now, if I'm hiding in the bathroom, can I run out of the room and try to lock him lock him in that way? Is that a thing I can do? I have no idea. But it seems too risky a thing to try. Um, or am I supposed to, like, check the locks on every room to see if he's in there and then try to lock him in? You think he must go into the other rooms when searching for you? Yeah. So my only my only thought then is maybe I'm supposed to be checking the locks. Because you can peer through lock, like the lock holes uh, of, of shut doors. But like it feels like it wastes so much fucking time. <sighs> See that fucking ghost is knocking too. So the knocking ghost is making it hard for me to tell what it is. What it is I'm hearing, because it could be the ghost or it could be him. Mix it up. Let's go in the wardrobe this time. God, in between the wind and the fucking knocking, how am I supposed to ever tell where this son of a bitch is? And he's being super aggressive on this floor. He is all up in my business. I like I spent so much time in bathrooms and, and wardrobes this play this the this stream. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a little... That's a little creepy. Okay, so I know he's out there now. I'm not sure what I want to do with that information. This is where he watched his parents die. So again, it is interesting though that they put that extra animation there because all the people animations have been him walking back and forth, but this is a dead end. So it's cool that they added that little extra animation of him just going like, hello. But see, like I don't want to leave because I feel like he's right fucking there because he just called out 
and it was really easy to hear him. being quite the dickhead, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm rude, but you're the one that keeps trying to hit me over the head with a fucking baseball bat. This guy's been watching way too much Walking Dead. Well, Jimmy, how about you piss off? Well, at this rate, he might catch me. He's got me boxed in here. Every time I keep trying to go somewhere, he's got me boxed in. talk to the girl on the third floor stairwell but I couldn't open the door but I'm pretty sure I can go to the ground floor and go up the stairs and if I can do that I can probably talk to her on the top of the stairs so we're just gonna go up and go up again And finally go up here. Who's there? Hello. Is it Amy? Yeah. I know I just heard him yell out and I'm standing like right in the way of the fucking door here. a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? I don't know. What was the coil of wire used for? I'm just asking her everything now because I didn't, you don't know. She might know she something. Too bad he's scared of stairs. Well, that may not be true. I thought he was scared of bathrooms and look what happened there. Who wrote the note that says goodbye? How did those mirrors get broken? I saw you at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What were you doing? I felt really light. I really thought I could jump down to the bottom. Oh, God damn it. And that's how she died. He got her hammered and she jumped down. Hello? I'm guessing she's gone now. Hello? I hear you yelling out to me. I thought I had the... Oh no, he might have stole it from me. Oh, I have to actually manually select it. So, should I be safe on this floor now then? Because I just heard him yelling around on this third floor, right? So. 
All right, Compass, where are you trying to point me? Okay, now it looks like it's pointing this to here. That's cool. I want a little car bed. But I'm guessing this isn't what I'm looking for. Car bed, car chair. I don't. I don't know. It was car. It was a, it was a car. I know cars when I see them, and that was a car. Okay, I feel like this was all dark. So this might be a new area that just unlocked. Okay, never mind. I thought it was safe down here, but he just fucking came down. So somehow he knew... Fuck. So somehow, despite the fact he was up on the floor above me, he knew I was down here. And you can't even claim it was because I was making a bunch of noise. Well, there's another one of my my friends. Nope, too dark. Can't do anything in here. No light switches. It's an old shit hotel. Doesn't know how light switches work. Same problem. I gotta say, me opening and shutting the doors like this is probably attracting them. Two oh six. Old rusty keys. Trying to follow where the compass is trying to point me, but I appear to be getting a little lost. Shit, that just brought me back in here. This isn't helpful. I love how she puts her head down, too, when she leaves the room. Like, oh, if my head's down, I'll be safe. to say that elevator took you forever to show up I was literally just staring like come on come on come on that felt like it took a fucking year no that's farther away Trying to follow that noise. I'm going down the 
God, I'm... Like, I'm being thrown off by this TV or radio or whatever the fuck it is. That was not the radio. I heard that floor creak. I heard that floor creak. Floor creak. That sounded like a fart. Or maybe it was a fart. I don't know. I mean, that would be the terrible thing about when you're trying to stalk somebody. You got to make sure that your stomach doesn't growl, you fart, you burp, you sneeze. Like, I love how in horror films everyone gets caught because their cell phone goes off or something, right? Why can't you just make it that they sneeze? <laughs> Not everybody can stop their sneezes. I actually, when I feel like I had to sneeze, I can't do anything to stop it. That pinch your nose thing doesn't work. So if I'm hiding from a, a killer in my house, all I need to do is throw some pepper in the air and I'm fucked. So I'm guessing this is a radio show? Well, I can't be in here. The problem is if the issue's on the first floor, too, this is a large floor. I'm not dead, because even when you catch me, all you do is knock me out. I mean, eventually I'm going to die. You figure there'd be like a concussion counter in the top left or something. So every time I get hit, it's like, well, you're on concussion number seven. So I really don't think you're going to fucking make it. Because I still seem to have my wits about me despite the amount of blows to the head I've taken. His lack of murder is hurting the plot. I agree. Following this fucking compass is, like, impossible. But maybe Jimmy has, like, a different plan for me. Maybe he wants to eat me or something. So if he wants to eat me, he won't be in a hurry to kill me. Gotta keep that, uh, flesh plump or whatever. Like, where is this compass fucking pointing? He probably does. Because that sounded really fucking close. You've been coming for me for the last, like, half an hour. 
Oh, this time he actually means it. He's actually right there. Because, I mean, the interesting thing, too, is he hasn't killed my friends, either. I've, I've found, like, three of them, I think. So, he isn't killing anybody. So what's his end game? Is he doing some demonic sacrifice shit down here? Hello? Oh well, fuck it. It's getting close to the end of the night, and I want to spend the rest of the night in, in bathrooms. Yeah, see, there's one of my friends. Yeah, I legit don't know where this compass is trying to point. Are one of these rooms dark enough I can use my mirror? Okay, Amy's crying, probably because she fell to her death. I'd be pretty upset too. Wait, now it's pointing to the basement basement. Are you serious? I gotta try and get back to the fucking elevator now? Okay, so there's actually nothing on the first floor. It was second floor and ground floor. Or basement. Oh! Apparently there's something on every floor that I'm not on. So I've been stung around like a fucking idiot the last 10 minutes. I don't even need to be up here. Hi, I was in a trance for like 15 fucking minutes. Are you out there? Why did I think I had to go to the first floor? I legitimately do not know why I thought I had to go to the first floor. This is not the right way. Yeah, let's go down to the bottom floor. We'll need a, I'll need a breather. And I feel like I'm gonna see another ghost sighting at the on the ground floor here. So Let's end off the night with another little seance of sorts. I feel like I know where she is. I don't have a key for that though, I don't think. Okay, new plan. Um... I can probably go to the stairs on the ground floor and go down, I'm guessing. That would be my assumption. That, that's what I can do.
Am I turning around to turn around and see a girl go splat on the floor? Well, I didn't see her go splat. I saw the result of the splat, which is better. Is it Amy? Yeah, hi, Amy. I saw you lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to you? I jumped, but then it all went dark and I couldn't wake up. I can't wake up anymore. I don't know where I am. Yeah, about that. Oh, I completed Amy's story. So... In a way, he didn't murder Amy. He got her hammered and she ended up... Dying as a result of her actions while... Being, like, 11 and hammered. So... Is someone there? Fucking tragic is what that is, though. Can I open this on this side? No. No, okay. Well. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, Amy. Leave the room. Well, guys, I think this is a good place to call it for the night. We have completed 33% of the story. Somehow, there's still two-thirds of this to go, despite the fact there's only three floors. So maybe I've completely done a floor. I don't know. Um, but thanks for having you all here this evening. Thanks for coming to Terratober with me. Uh, the next usual stream would be Friday. Um, but where I am trying to get through as many horror games as possible. <laughs> Uh, there is a possibility that I will be doing some extra streams, so make sure to be following me on Twitch and uh, YouTube and whatnot so that you can see if I go live. Maybe I'll try to do another one tomorrow night. This game is surprisingly long. It's surprisingly long given that the hotel's not that big. All it's, Basically what it's making us do is hop up and down floors. Is this is essentially what it's making us do? I'm 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 simply hopping up and down, up and down floors. Um, so it can get a little repetitive that way, but I'm also thinking Jimmy's getting more and more aggressive as time goes on, because like he actually came in the bathroom after me, so maybe we'll see some. Extra stuff go on. But now we have Amy's story done. We know there's still a doctor. We know that there's the guy who runs the place. So there's two other ghosts that we know of. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. So yeah, so Friday's my next scheduled stream. I might try to do one tomorrow anyway. So keep myself, keep uh, your notifications on. And hopefully I will see you guys whenever I stream next. But in the meantime, you have a fantastic evening and try not to get too spooked. Bye-bye. I'm still, like, rattled about the bathroom. We had a deal. The bathroom was safe. And he had the audacity. The audacity, I tell you. To just disobey the sanctity of the bathroom. What a bastard. Good night.